gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome, welcome, welcome to my industry case study. Now, my name is Lamont. I am going currently to full sail for my recording arts degree. And uh, as you may know, we're going to go to the field of recording arts. Uh, the opportunities for this place uh, are very, very vast and job titles may vary. Uh, there's things like a mix engineer or, or maybe a Foley artist, which is one of the things that I've chosen. But for me, my dream job will be an artist. Uh, let's go ahead. Now, the range of responsibilities for an artist are pretty vast. Um, a few key ones to me in, in particular would be creating and developing uh, your brand, uh, which is uh, basically you, your, your business, and, and finding balance between uh, the creative process and building and making a strategically executed plan. Next one. Now, behind uh, every full cell student is a dream and mine is to be able to fine tune my skill here, I build a team maybe, and advance my career that way. Next slide. Now, for this uh, profile that I had to build, I chose being a Foley artist or mixer. They are used in TV, cinema, radio, and gaming. Uh, the salary usually ranges from 50 to $200 a year. I'm sorry, not a year, that would be terrible pay, uh, a day. And annually, anywhere from 35000 to about $150,000. Uh, you don't actually have to be trained in Foley to be a Foley artist. Uh, it's, it's really fun. Uh, a lot of people like to get into making sound that way. And Foley mixes usually might require a degree because it's a little bit harder to mix all those sounds and such. Next slide. Now, I do have a short video that I want you to watch. It's just a clip. Uh, Scott Weber and Tom Graham from Abbott. And basically, they're just doing a small uh, post mix. Okay, cool. Well, now, I'm glad you guys enjoyed that small little clip. Would have been a little bit longer, but we're pressed for time. Uh, what I wanted you to take away from that is just a small little nitpicking things about mixing fully. It makes it very fun. Now, for me, I believe being an artist is about the journey, and uh, there are many ways to get to that journey in a creative way. Uh, that would be why I chose career number two. Uh, it will be an A&R. Now, an A&R is a representative who is responsible for finding promising artists uh, for a recording label or music publishers to sign. Uh, what's really cool about that job is you become really cool and close with your artists and become more like a family and build relationships. It's a very good job. Uh, next slide. Now, I built profile number two on this, and the salary usually ranges from about $30,500 to about $62,500 annually. You don't have to have a degree to be an A&R either, uh, but it would be useful to have some type of business background. Uh, what I've checked out on the hub is a uh, day in the life of A&R director Chris Marcomiago. Uh He's actually an alumni from here at Full Sail, and he says spending days looking at anything he can use to quantify the success of an artist. Uh, he said that might be streaming data or album sales, the number of times people share my song. Oh, share my song. Uh, Shazam a song, which is a, a system that we have on an app, uh, and mainly just anything to stay relevant and involved in the business field. Uh, here's another short video. We're not going to watch it, but it is a revolt thing called Shaping a Superstar, basically a panel of amazing A&Rs that gives you an in-depth deep dive on what it takes to be one and the relationships that they have to build with their clients. Uh, moving on, I will say the only disadvantages that I've found to this job uh, be it Foley artist, mix it, or an A&R will be our clients do not pay the same. Sometimes they're big, sometimes they're small. Your tickets may save you for a few months or only a couple weeks. Uh, depending on the company and type of work, deadlines can be quick, and you may not land clients, so having a backup job is important, but I would implore anybody in the field being a freelancer to find a backup plan anyways. Moving on, uh, I would say 
what I picked up overall is that there are multiple ways to build your career. Uh, every little title has its ups and downs, and your work ethic will determine everything else. Uh, this is me signing off. Thank you very much for this short presentation, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night.